Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I've got something a little bit different and a little bit special. Um, I've recently received um, quite a bit of beer mail from mainly from the guys um, around New Zealand and as luck would have it I received two clone beers of the supercharger uh, one from Carl at Floor Sweepers Union and another one from Aiden at 1490 Brewing so I thought it'd be a good idea to actually buy a commercial version of the supercharger um, pour all three up and then just yeah just see what they look like um, see if I can pick up any differences etc um, now I believe that um, Carl and Aiden use the same sort of base uh, recipe um, and but different yeast so Aiden's gone USO5 and Carl has gone SO4 so yeah let's pour them up um, and then we can see the differences in the appearance first up and then we'll uh, we'll go from there so cheers guys um, if this takes too long I might just quickly fast forward the video so we'll see how we go cheers cheers and big thank you and shout out to uh, Carl and Aiden for sending the beers Here is who, so Carl from Floor Sweepers, Commercial, and Aiden from 1490 Brewing. Okay, so I guess you can see straight away there's a slight variation in, in the colours. Um, could also be the angle of the light, but from here it looks like Carl's is um, a little bit lighter than the commercial version. Um, still a nice sort of orange, golden orange, but more maybe golden yellowy orange this is a sort of a deeper orange and then um, Aiden's is looks like it might be a tad tad darker um, the other thing I, you can sort of see is the the commercial and Carl's are probably slightly clearer than um, than Aiden's one um, but they all look they all look fantastic all holding fairly similar heads. Um, Aiden's has probably got the best head of the three. So um, some nice carbonation streaming up. So just quickly go over the recipes that um, Carl and Aiden used. So these two here on the outsides are Gladfield's American Ale, Toffee and Light Crystal. And this is the recipe, the Paul Wicksteed recipe that's available online. Um, and then it's um, bitter with Pacific Jade, and then the hops are Amarillo, Simcoe, Centennial, um, and Citra, I think. And then, like I say, Carl's used the SO4 and Aiden the, um, the USO5. So, uh, what will we do first? We'll go for, I think we might go for Aiden's first. Cheers, guys. Almost going to dive in for a sip and let's go for an aroma first. Smells nice, definitely some nice citrus and a little bit of pine kind of coming off the top. And a little bit of like um, breadiness from the malts. We'll go for Carl's next. Okay, Carl's has got um, probably a little less pine but more citrus and um, maybe a touch of sweetness from the from the malts and then we'll go for the commercial one okay the commercial one I guess the main thing that picking up is more sort of resin and pine and, and that sort of slightly dank, more dank but all three smell fantastic um, so we'll go in for a sip ok 
okay, the, um, the hops are coming through is more juicy on the flavour. Definitely more citrus, um, and I think I mentioned there was a bit of pine on the nose. Yes, it's definitely got more, yeah, definitely juice, tastes juicier than what I was picking up on the aroma. Um, nice pine, yeah, that sort of breadiness from the malts, but it's also got some nice um, little bit of caramel sweetness there as well. Um, and the carbonation is really good. Uh, we'll go for Carl's next. So this is a different yeast, so we'll just see if we can pick up a, a difference between the yeast. Okay, Carl's is um, similar to Aiden's in that it's um, more juicy and there seems a lot more hot flavour coming through on the, than maybe on the aroma. Yeah, more sort of, um, as well as the citrus, maybe a little bit um, tropical fruit, um, but really, really, both of them have got really bright sort of hot uh, flavour coming through. So that's Carl's, and we'll go in for the commercial. Okay, yeah, there's... That dankness is carrying over into the flavour. It's um, probably a similar malt flavour to um, Aiden's and getting that sort of bready character coming through along with that sort of caramel. Excuse me, guys, just going to sort of whiz through, through them again just to a better idea in my mind. Yeah, more caramel sort of um, and toffee sort of um, characters coming through in Aiden's and in the commercial one. Carl's is very nice. Um, but the, the caramel toffee sort of flavour isn't as pronounced. It's, um, as you can sort of see from the appearance, it's, it looks very clean and um, clear. And that's sort of coming through in the flavour. Very crisp and clean, um, with quite a reasonably dry back end. Yeah, Aiden's I'm definitely picking up more of, of that yeah, caramel toffee on the nose. Yeah, and that's got that more of a dank sort of piney resin aroma. Not getting the, the caramel toffee so much on the nose, but more in the flavour. Oh, they're, they're all three really good beers. Um, Yeah, three very good beers, but each one's got something about it that's different to the other two. So yeah, this has got, I'd say this has got more of caramel, toffee, malt, rome, definitely more aroma than the commercial version, um, and also on the flavour. And the hops um, are really nice and juicy. Um, commercial version... Yeah, definitely got more dankness on the nose and more of that piney resin. And, but you don't pick up the toffee caramel on the nose, but more in the flavour. And then I think the, the main thing that strikes me about Carl is the hops seem to be popping more, definitely more than the commercial version and, and I'd even say more than um, Aiden's version. And I think that's because maybe the malts are um, a little bit more restrained. So don't get me wrong, there's definitely um, some nice hints of um, 
malt sweetness coming through but yeah sort of dial back a bit compared to these two which I think is allowing the, um, the sort of citrus juicy citrus sort of um, hot aroma and flavour to come through a bit more but yeah I think both you guys have done cracking jobs I think the hops of these two probably more similar well this has got this sort of got a bit more pine pine and resin same as this one but the hops I guess the the brightness or the juiciness of the hops is definitely more pronounced on Carl's uh, probably maybe even more so than the commercial version um, but then the nice sort of toffee caramel sweetness of Aiden's um, is most close uh, most most close closest to the commercial version um, all three are fantastic beers um, I thought maybe the SO4 might have given this more of um, a fruity possibly a tropical fruit sort of aroma and flavor coming through but when I think of SO4 I think of you know English style beers and hops um, But yeah, that's, I think the SO4 is a really good choice for a supercharger. I would never have thought to use it myself, but um, it's really made the, um, the hops pop, I think, and given it that sort of tropical edge. So well done, um, Carl. Yeah, it's definitely some nice breadiness coming through with those caram uh, caramel and toffee aroma and flavour. Of Aiden's and yeah probably yeah a little bit more resin maybe piney resin coming through rather than sort of um, um, yeah, the tropical tropical sort of uh, quality of Carl's and then this one's got the the extra commercial version's got the extra sort of above and beyond the piney resin and the dankness Mm, all very nice. Um, to be perfectly honest, if I had to pick two out of three, I think I'd probably pick these two. I think they just taste a little bit fresher than this one. I don't know when this was bottled. Um, I'll see if I can tell. But um, yeah, I just that's probably the best way to describe it. These Aiden and Carl's just have a little bit more freshness about them. Freshness and the hops and the um, and the malts and um, yeah, nothing wrong with the supercharger on its own, but you can definitely see the differences when you've got three side by side. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop. Um, hopefully, you got part way through the video. Um, just one other thing I noticed: fantastic lacing on Aiden's there. The other two are very similar. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions to sing out, um, it wasn't quite as concise and succinct as I would have liked, but um, yeah, it was, it was a really good, fun way to sort of um, bounce the, the beers off each other. So job done, and I've still got plenty of beer left in the bowl, so I will finish those off. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and um, we will catch you next time. Over and out.